Today we're talking about first person shooters and I want to talk about the tools and the strategies you need to become a better player. Let's check this out. That is right guys, I am really excited to do this video, not only because it's useful information, and you know I love to give you guys useful information, but this kind of allowed me to better myself um, as a gamer, you know, playing FPS, playing Warzone, playing Apex, playing any shooter, even the Division, this is going to help me out. Um, now this video pertains to mouse and keyboard, so if you're on a controller, um, and if you're ever thinking about jumping to PC, which I think you should, uh, but that's my opinion, um, this will kind of give you a, a basis on how, what to expect and how to increase your performance. Just like anything else, before we get into the video, I want to get this disclaimer out. In no way am I saying I'm a professional, am I the best out there, am I Shroud 2.0? Not at all. Far from it. I'm an average gamer that enjoys playing games and more recently starting to improve uh, my skills uh, just because it's more entertaining for you guys to watch in the live streams um, and just it makes for a better overall experience you start winning games which is what's happening to me uh, and you start getting into it more and more and it makes it more fun so um, then you start challenging yourself so again this mainly pertains 100 percent pertains to mouse and keyboard so um, if you want to just hang out check it out learn a little bit about this how it works um, you're more than welcome to um, I'm personally excited to bring this video to you because I've done a lot of research, I've done some practice, I've done a lot of different things, done the legwork for you really. And I'm going to have some links to some tools so you guys can, you know, kind of follow along and, and do that sort of thing. Those will be down in the description. You know how YouTube works. If you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, the like button, and turn those notification bells on so you can come join in on the live fun. Um, I am currently streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays, 1 to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and releasing content Wednesdays and Fridays. So you'll see this video uh, on a Friday, but I'm really excited uh, to bring this to you. Now, we're gonna start, before we get into the software and all that stuff like that, I wanna really break this down for you. Now, does the quality of your mouse matter? Some people will say yes, some people will say no. Um, they'll say, you know, you gotta buy the most expensive mouse to get some crazy results. And from experience, let me tell you, it does make a difference. Now, um, I have this mouse, a TechNet mouse that I purchased from Amazon. I think it was like 13 to $15. I don't see it on there anymore or I would leave you a link. Um, this mouse is heavy and I never paid attention to it uh, until I started digging into this stuff. Now, this has a little slot here. I took it out to reduce weight. It had 28 grams of additional weight, little like watch battery sized uh, things to put in here to make it heavy, heavier or lighter. Now, let me tell you, after doing this and doing these experiments, it completely makes a difference on the mouse that you have. Now, another uh, major uh, topic of discussion is wired or wireless. Now, again, I was always saying, you know, wire is always going to be faster. You're going to get better. Um, you know, the, your DPI is going to, it's going to read a lot better because it's wired. It's a hard signal that it's sending into your PC. I'm going to go ahead and fall on the sword here. I was wrong. Um, I'm actually getting better performance out of my uh, wireless mouse. Um, and I did do a ton of research on wireless mouses. I was going between... Mice? Mouses. Mice? Mice. Uh, I was going between two different. I was look, going between the Logic um, Wireless Pro and this Razer Ultimate Wireless. Um, I did go with the Razer, 100% um, preference based. Uh, I do not do the claw grip on my mouse. Uh, I can't do it. Hurts my hand after a while. And the, the concave of this mouse fit my hand perfectly to do the palm grip and let me tell you so this is a lot sleeker of a design and the hand positioning is a lot different i should probably show you this angle um it's just a lot lot narrower of a mouse so with what i've done let me tell you wireless technology is the way to go 
if you buy a higher quality wireless mouse. Now, this mouse, uh, I got a deal on it online. It was originally like 130 bucks. I got it for like 120 after tax or something like that. And it came with the dock, which you can see back over there. Um, and it did come with the dock. And I am extremely happy with this purchase. I've used this mouse for so long. Um, and I'm not, I'm still going to use it for like, you know, like, uh, Diablo stuff like that because of the, um, side keys. This one only has two. So since we're talking about FPS games, uh, you don't really need a whole lot of the side buttons, but this mouse, I would recommend this mouse to anyone who has a medium sized hand, uh, such as myself. So shout out to Razer for that low profile there. So now that we got the mouse out of the way. So you find the mouse that you like, um, you know, it fits your hand comfortably. That's the biggest factor in the mouse for me is that the performance is there. And the most importantly is that you can use it for long periods of time. So again, shout out to Razer for this mouse. This thing is incredible. The Bluetooth dongle is in the PC behind me. This is the gaming rig back here. Um, it's actually back over here zero latency with this bad boy as even with it being behind me that was my biggest fear is like how is this thing going to perform with it behind me so enough about the mouse we're going to stay step one you've got the mouse that you like regardless of what it is and next up we're going to hop over to the full screen here and go over to some settings okay guys now that we got the settings open before we go any further make sure you guys check the description so you have all of the tools open so we can go at this step by step at the same time you do not want to get too far ahead or too far behind on this because it's very easy to get turned around and I don't want that. I want this to be easy. I want it to benefit you so you become a better FPS player regardless if you're playing Warzone, you're playing Apex, you're playing whatever first person shooter you are, CSGO, this is going to help that process. So right here we are going to go into your mouse settings and then you're going to go to additional mouse settings which is going to bring up your mouse properties. Now. Right here in the buttons tab, you're going to come over here and you're going to want to go set this thing from one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh notch is what you're going to want this thing on. Now this is the double click. Uh, you can double click your fold, your any folder to see how quickly this is. What this basically does is this allows the signal. It's telling the computer how quickly it's reading what you're doing with the mouse. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here to pointer options. And again, here, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to be want the sixth notch is what you're going to want to do. Now, this enhanced pointer precision, you do not want that clicked on there. Um, it's just going to make your bad aim worse. <laughs> it's just going to add another equation for this to do that. So once you're doing that, this is super easy. Step one, super easy. Six notch, one, two, three, four, five, six notch in the pointer options. And then on the buttons, uh, you want it to be there as well. Now this is click speed. So it's important because this is, you know, obviously you're firing. So this is what you want it to read. So you don't want it too fast. You don't want it too slow because you still have your mouse settings, the DPI to mess with on the mouse programming itself. So for step one, this is all you're going to do. So you're going to go ahead and close this out. Now, preference comes into play here. So what I'm going to ask you to do for this part is humor me. Okay. So I'm in my mouse calibration right here in the performance tab of Razer. If you don't have Razer, that's okay. Whatever mouse you're using 99.9% .9 of the time, it comes with a software, even the one on Amazon that I bought for, it was 17 to 19 bucks. It came with mouse software. If it's a gaming mouse, it's going to have software. So just humor me in one of your stages set this to 800 dpi okay i don't care if you're playing on 3200 right now i don't care if you're playing on 100 right now set it to 800 dpi um, it's a good platform to build this on remember we still have um, in-game sensitivity that we have to mess with so you're going to want to set this to 800 dpi just to humor me to give you your base you can build your base on whatever you want later I just want us all to be on the same page and who knows this might benefit you even more. So 800 DPI. Okay. Simple as that. We're going to go ahead and close this now once your mouse is set to 800 DPI. Now I am going to use Apex Legends because it is the first person shooter that I play the most, 
but we are going to figure out your sensitivity and you can use this across games everywhere. Um, so you can put it input it into Warzone. I did it. I, I built this in Apex, moved it over to Warzone. I left this sit idle too long. Um, I don't normally do window mode, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to full game modes. Okay, guys, I've got everything loaded up and ready to go. If you're following along in Apex, this is going to be super easy. If you're not using Apex, that's okay. Um, all you need is like a firing range mode or a training mode to where you can have access to your weapon and no one's going to bother you. So I'm in the firing range in Apex Legends. Um, I just ran over here to this guy here. Now, before we go anywhere again, check the description for the link. It will open up a website for you. It is going to be this website right here. It is going to be this tool. It is the sensitivity calculator. So make sure you check the link for the description. It'll open this up. Um, and what we're going to do, starting from ground zero, if you already know how to do this, uh, I apologize, bear with me, we'll get through this. So you're going to take your mouse and you're going to put it on the left side of your mouse pad. Now you're going to aim. Let's grab a gun with a with an actual cursor, the R99. Okay, so just make sure that when you're, or not the R99, I'm sorry, we want the 301. Okay, so the 301, as you can see, has the little dot in the center right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this mouse on the left side of your keypad and you're going to put the the little dot on target. Now the goal here, the object, is to take your mouse from the left side and go all the way to the right side and the, what you're going to want to accomplish is a full 360. That's the end of my mouse pad. So that's from one side of my mouse pad to the other side of my mouse pad, full 360. That's what you want. Now you're gonna have to mess around with, with that until you get to that objective and whatever that number is for you, that's going to be your starting point, okay? So that number is going to be different for everyone because not everyone has the same mouse, not everyone has the same mouse pad. As long as your mouse goes from the left side all the way to the right side, full 360. That's the end of my mouse pad right there. So one side to the other, 360. Whatever that number is, you're going to go ahead and open up the browser to that link that I gave you, and that is going to be your start sensitivity. So for argument's sake, just say for whatever reason it was 2.03, okay? That's that's your starting base. And what that's going to do, it's going to calculate a lower number and a higher number of sensitivity. Now, this is the fun part. So you're going to take this lower number, 1.02, right? You're going to go ahead and minimize this, and you're going to go back into your settings, and you're going to change your sensitivity to whatever that lower number is. Now, now we're going to fine-tune this sensitivity. You're going to do four tests. You're going to do close range, mid range, long range, and ADS. So you're going to come over here and you're just going to keep that right on target as much as you can. So from left to right, right to left, there you go. And then you're going to come up here. You're going to do the exact same thing. Make sure you have plenty of ammo. You're going to do the exact same thing. Bam, 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 bam. You're gonna go, I'm just doing this quickly so you can see what we're doing. We're going left to right, right to left. There you go. Then you're gonna wanna come back here and do the same thing. Um, here's another tip to help you so that we are not dealing with um, spray or, any, or recoil like that. Switch it to single fire mode. Um, it's a lot easier to control because there's no recoil and it'll give you a more accurate shot. See, I changed it from there to there. A little bit better of a shot. Then what you're gonna wanna do is from far range, you're gonna to wanna to go ADS, okay? So just practice your movements, left to right. Um, you wanna practice ADS crouching and uncrouching, okay? So you just wanna practice. Now, when you're done with the lower one, you're gonna come here and you're gonna do the higher one. I don't remember what the number was. Let's just say it was 4.68, whatever the number is, it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna do the same series of tests I'm just picking random numbers here so these shots are not going to be uh, clean by any means okay there you go so just say in this instance okay so you did both the tests for both of them now you say oh it was 305 I was at like four something anyway let's say ah you know what the higher one felt better that time so you pick the higher so this it's gonna generate another set of numbers higher numbers and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to repeat those tests close range, mid range, long range, and ADS. There are five rounds or five tests with different numbers. And what that's gonna do at the end is it's gonna generate 
an exact number for your play style. So let's go here. Let's just say 3.33, okay? 3.33, just say that's, I did all the tests and that's where it sat. And basically what you're gonna wanna do, that's pretty close to my actual number. I think it was like 3.35, so this thing will be a little bit behind. But what it does, let's go 3.35, okay? So 3.35, and you'll see exactly how big of a difference this is going to make. I mean, cause if you get your number, once you're done with the test, it'll give you a number. You can just sit there and laser people because what it does is it prevents you from overcorrecting what you're seeing, the sensitivity. And so you're just gonna be sitting here regardless of what you're doing and it's gonna feel natural. It's gonna feel a lot smoother, which is gonna lead you to more confidence in your gameplay, which is gonna lead us to the next step. I mean, look at this, I'm using a completely different gun. I don't have any bullets. But you're using a completely different gun. No matter what gun you're using, it's gonna help with that sensitivity. I mean, even if you're sliding, it's gonna help you keep on target. I mean, even if you're climbing up, and you gotta hurry up and find the target, it's amazing. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna feel more natural. It's gonna let the game flow on your terms versus you trying to compensate where that mouse is. This is probably, I'd say 70% of making you a better FPS player. Now, we're gonna go over a couple of other techniques that are gonna help you um, get better at aim and target um, practice. There's some links in the description as well that I'm gonna make sure you guys grab so you guys can focus up on how to take it to the next level. This is step one. Uh, next level, just like anything else, practice is gonna be the next step. Now, there are some amazing tools out there. There are some that you can buy if you're an Apex player. There's Apex Legends Trainer, and it's literally a glorified firing range with um, objectives and challenges that'll help you really become a better at you know, dodging and aiming. And then there's free tools out there too. So that way uh, you don't have to fork out money. You can still improve your skills. We'll go over those right now. I'm gonna switch over to those. We'll see you in a Hey, what's up guys? Felix here. I am going to cut this video in half. It is already 17 minutes as it stands. I don't wanna keep you here all day. So I'm gonna cut this into two parts and push this release Wednesday. And part two will be released on Friday. So thank you guys so much for sitting through the first 17 minutes on how to make you a better FPS player. Um, if you guys are liking these type of videos, let me know down in the comments. Um, I love helping out the community. You guys give me so much and I wanna give back any way that I can. Um, so let me know in the comments if you like these type of videos, we'll keep them going. Thank you guys for watching part one and we will see you in part two.